Hello, the Graphics Academy. All right, so um, in this video, we're going to be exploring Capture One. We're understanding how to blend skin tones using your Capture One. If you're having uneven skin tones in your images, this is the video for you. You're going to be learning step-by-step -step guide on how you can blend your skin tones using Capture One. All right, so having said that, let's jump into the video. But before we start, make sure you click on our subscribe button to subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring the bell to get notified every single time we we'll drop a new video. So that will be it for now. And let's get straight to work. All right, so this is a picture we're going to be editing this particular one down here. Of course, the same process can apply to all these ones, but this is one I'm going to be focusing our attention on such a nice image, such a nice image. All right, so I think it has some quite, quite some details. This is the picture we're going to be focusing on. So the first thing I'm going to be doing on the image is I'm going to be lifting the shadow. I do not really like the way it's looking, especially for the purposes of the video. So we can see the stops we are doing quite well. So you don't need, you don't need to flatten it out like this. It's going to look weird. So just place it somewhere around here. Still leave those drama to it, or just make sure your, your shadows are quite open. Then you can maybe drop down the highlights a little just a little to be able to, you know, make this look a bit more even. So you can go to your uh, exposure slider and probably add a little contrast, but I wouldn't want to use that. Let me go and use my levels. So let me just add a little, a little contrast to it using my levels just like this. Let me rub the highlights too much. So I'm going to move it the way it was. Just a little like that. Beautiful. All right. So I think my shadows are becoming too dark again. All right, you can actually do this and it is looking quite somehow. So I'll just add a little contrast no? or you can use your curve. So let's just use our curve. I'll go and use my Numa curve. Let's drag this one up, down like this. Drag this down a little. Let's drag here up like this. So if you do it this way, you'll just be adding contrast to your image. Okay, so we have our exposure properly taken care of the way we want it the way we want it this is not a standard this is the this is my preference while working with my capture one this is the preference i want to go with on this image so that's what we're going to be using so the next thing we're going to be looking at straight is how to blend your skin tone so let me just take it out from there so th this is how your capture one might appear. when you come into your capture one this is how you might appear so what you're going to do is to go to skin tone Take this color picker here, just this one. So you are free to pick any part of the skin. What this does for you is that any part of the skin you use, you, but the, uh, Capture One rather is going to use it as a sample. It's going to use it as sample to color grade every other part of the image. That is what this one basically does. So if I pick from here, this is going to be the sample for my skin tone matching. So if I increase the saturation, you are going to notice that it's using that particular area to color grid if i pick the yellows it's going to use yellows for me if i pick any part of the skin tone so that's what i'm going to be doing i want to use somewhere around here to pick yeah somewhere around here then you can can equally something uh, one thing you can equally do is to click on your view selected coloring so you can see the capture one mask active so looking at the mask right now i'm going to notice that the places that are gray are the places that are not selected this is that the colors are popping at the ones that are selected. You're going to notice that our yellow scarf is also being selected in this image. So what we're going to do is that we're going to drag down the range button here. Just drag the range down a little. So as you're dragging it, be looking at your yellow. If you drag it too much, you're going to start losing color, even in your skin tone, which is not what we want. So we want it to end somewhere just around here, a bit of the yellow in. So you can equally just drag this down a little to close up on the ring just a little more so the idea is to make sure that our yellow is not selected in our mask okay so i think this is fair enough you can increase the saturation to make sure that it is the skin tone that is increased yeah and just do it like this to make sure that your skin tones are properly selected okay so i think i like what i'm having already i'm going to be using this so you can keep your saturation here this is the smoothness the smoothness determines how smooth transitions are going to look if you that's the transition of the color of the ring is going to look looking at it like this now 
the spike trough. So this serves as fuzziness. If you are familiar with the word fuzziness in Photoshop, this is exactly the same thing as fuzziness using your color range in Photoshop. All right, so I think I like the smoothness level right now. Now, this is the, this is the place where the trick happens, the uniformity. So if you increase the saturation of the uniformity, you are blending the skin tones the more. That is what that uniformity does. That is what it does. Then you can equally increase the lightness to just open up stuff a little bit. I don't like using this lightness here because it shatters out my whole image. So the one I'm going to use is this one. This one right here. So if you notice, this one is adding lightness to the image, still uh, having the contrast in mind, still having the contrast in mind. Or this one will just flatten out everything, take away our shadows, which is not what we wanted. So we'll just keep it at zero. This is what we're going to be using just like this a little. Now, as you can decide to change the, the uh, skin tone color, this is the hue. You can use the hue to change the color, the skin tone to any color you want. But I want it as the color it had for initially. So for this one, you can actually use this to increase the saturation. If you do not want to use the saturation bar right here, this is where you can increase the saturation for. You can use this one to increase the lightness if you do not want to use this one right here. So it's just a little touches here and there. So this is just play around, play around with your own, play around with your own to know exactly what works for you. So I'm, I'm actually targeting a dark skin tone model, a dark skin tone model. I think I like her here. So I'll just drop down the, the lightness a little, yeah, like that. So we can equally desaturate the image to an extent like that. So to achieve that menaline or, or that dark skin toned image we want, we don't want it to look fair or tanned, something like this. This is quite too much. So I'll just desaturate the red a little like this, beautiful. Then maybe take this one down a little. It's looking, it's looking quite weird now. So I'll just keep it somewhere around here, beautiful. We can decide to take this one up a little just like that. So just play around with your capture one to see what each one does for you. So when you are done, you unveil your mask simple. When you are done, you unveil your mask and zoom in to see the color effect, amazing color effect. I think I need to saturate it just a little like this, beautiful. All right, so there are other things you can equally do. You can go to the color balance and generally affect your color, the, the, the overall color of the whole image. But this is not what we are targeting right now. We are just targeting your skin tone. So this is how you can even out your skin tones in using Capture One to make the whole skin tone blending. So when you are done, just uncheck this view selected color range and your skin tone and your mask will be unveiled and you will have your results. Okay, so let's click on before and after and see what the image looks like. So this was the image before when we entered Capture One. This is it after we did one or two corrections. So this is before, this is after, this is before, this is after. Maybe let me just increase the saturation quite high so you can clearly see the results maybe somewhere here so you can clearly see the result okay so this is before this is after this is before this is after if you notice it's just targeting the skin tone thank you for watching this particular video let me just take it back to where i wanted it to be here exactly here i wanted it right here so that was for the purposes of the video i wanted it here now it's beautiful so this is our before this is our after this is our before this is after Thank you for watching this beautiful tutorial. See you on our next video. Please, before you go, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on click on the uh, bell button to get notified every single time we drop a new video. See you on our next video. Keep exploring.